well-known Swedish journalist Lennart Ekdal recently publicly changed his mind and apologized after harshly criticizing Swedish King Carl XVI Gustav during a discussion on the television program After Femme. The incident occurred on the occasion of the king's birthday and revolved around the question of whether Crown Princess Victoria should already assume the role of heir to the throne. In the broadcast, Leonard Ekdal had made his opinion very clear and criticized the king in unusually harsh terms. He described the king as extremely pale and said that it was inappropriate that Crown Princess Victoria was not already taking possession. These comments caused a stir and controversy among the public. In a later interview with Expressin, Leonard Ekdal was more thoughtful and apologized for his earlier statements. He acknowledged that he had judged too harshly on the king's birthday, saying, Yes, that was very cheeky. I think I will have to apologize later. However, he also praised the king for his hard work and emphasized that he had managed a difficult task over the years. He further stated that he believed the king had done his best, even though he may not always have been suited for his role. Leonard Ekdal will be 70 years old in November and has recently reduced his workload to have more time for himself. He expressed a desire for the king to do the same and take more time for himself outside of the royal spotlight. He stressed the importance of living life to the fullest and not putting things off until it is too late. He said, we who are in our 70s have to be tough. We know that of the time we have left, the best years are just around the corner. You don't have to put off the things you want to do before you fall off the wagon. Leonard Ekdal's public apology shows that even celebrities can tend to reconsider their opinions and take responsibility for their words. This incident is a reminder of the importance of being respectful and thoughtful in public discussion, especially when it comes to members of the royal family.